Good afternoon, first graders. How are you today? Happy terrific Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day today. My, is it beautiful outside. I've got a story for you today called Maple and Willow Together. There's a whole series of books about Maple and Willow. And I know some of them are read alouds on YouTube. It won't be by me, but some of the other books about Maple and Willow are on there if you're interested in exploring these two really great characters some more. Maple and Willow Together by Lori Nichols. Maple and her little sister Willow were always together. It was hard to remember a time when the girls weren't together. In fact, their parents even wondered if the girls had their own language. And in a way, they did. Osne, I'm fine. <laughs> so they say little funny words together, but they understand what each other are saying. Pretty cool, it's like a secret language. They spent mornings together, while they're drawing, they're reading stories, they're even helping each other pour some milk in their cereal bowls for breakfast. That's some nice teamwork. And most nights, oh my goodness, I see how someone's sneaking out of her bedroom to sneak over to snuggle with her sister. That happens sometimes and that's okay. On sunny days, the girls looked for heart rocks, built fairy houses, and caught grasshoppers. Ooh, they're nature explorers. That's really fun. Hide and seek was one of their favorite games. You're it, Maple would shout. One, two, three, seven, eight, but Maple didn't like the way Willow counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When it rained, Maple would chirp, I'm in charge of the umbrella. Willow didn't mind because she was in charge of the puddles. <laughs> that sounds like fun if you have rain boots. The puddles brought out worms. Maple and Willow both loved worms. Maple kept her worm in a special box, her box. That was okay with Willow because she liked her worm to wriggle all over her fingers. Oh my goodness. This little bird down here actually caught a worm for his dinner. One day, Maple decided they should pick dandelions. Willow wanted to blow them to the wind but Maple wanted to collect the dandelions, not blow them. That's when Willow decided to show Maple a thing or two. Uh-oh, she blew the dandelion puffs in her face. Hmm, and Maple decided to tell Willow a thing or two. And May, and May. Oh, now they're in a little fight, uh-oh. Then Willow took it out on Maple's toy. Aha! She stomped on it. Uh-oh. And Maple took it out on Willow. Oh, nay! Uh-oh. She pushed her. That's never a good idea to solve a problem. Neither sister wanted to be together ever again. Uh-oh. They're over each other. The girls were separated and sent to their own rooms. But after a while, it got boring. So Maple slipped something over to Willow. Looks like a little marble. Then Willow slipped something over to Maple. Looks like a little leaf. Horse, I'm okay. The girls met halfway and were together once again. Oh, it wasn't a marble. It was actually a sweet little ladybug. And the leaf actually looks like, um, almost like a fox face. And it has two little eye parts in it. So she can actually look through the leaf and look like a fox face. That's pretty neat. After a while, they couldn't wait to run back outside. 
Sometimes they just needed time away from one another. And this time when Maple and Willow collected dandelions, they both made wishes and blew them to the wind. Wow, right when I read that page, it all of a sudden got breezy out here. Maybe the wind likes my reading too. Huh, even my hair is blowing. That evening, they took a bath and put on their pajamas and hopped like grasshoppers and read more books. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh-huh. And fell asleep together. Wow. What a nice ending to the story. Yeah, so the Maple and Willow books are really, really great. They always have some fun adventures and both of the girls are named after trees, the maple tree and the willow tree. Very cool. Well, I hope you're having a great day today. The sun is shining. It is getting a little warm outside. It looks like it's a nice day for Mrs. Simons to go for a walk and look around at some of my own nature adventures. I wonder if I'll see some insects. Last night, Mr. Simons and I took a little walk and it was dark outside and I was so excited because as I was walking, I looked and I thought I saw something and I said, ah, maybe it's just my eyes being silly. And then I looked again and I saw it again. Boys and girls, I saw my first lightning bugs of the season. I was so excited because when I was a little girl, I used to run all around my parents' backyard and I would try to catch them in mason jars and then they would like light up and it was just fun to explore them. And they are not easy to catch. Some nights, oh, I was so tired of running around the yard in the dark trying to catch lightning bugs. But once I did, it was just so rewarding to be able to watch them and their little bodies lighting up. It was just like magic in a jar. Well, I hope you have a great day, my friends, and I will hopefully be able to read a great book to you tomorrow. All right, keep working hard, be nice, and always have fun. See you tomorrow, my friends.